Today, we're going to cover 10 things you must see when you travel to New York. We know how time consuming and stressful it can be to plan your next trip and to create an itinerary. So here are a few ideas to help you out. We have been to New York several times, and these are some of our favorite places to check out. We will cover each of these in detail and go over the cost for each of the experiences so you can budget accordingly. Let's jump right in. First up is the Statue of Liberty. You can take a ferry from New York or New Jersey to the Statue of Liberty and it costs $25 per person. We also recommend that you budget around 45 minutes before the ferry departs so that you can go through security and get into the ferry with no problem as there's usually a long line. We also recommend you take a coat or a sweater as it can get chilly during the ferry ride and also bring some sunglasses. Once you get to Liberty Island, you can listen to an audio tour like we are doing here and it comes in many different languages like Spanish, French, English and many more. Also make sure to check out the Statue of Liberty Museum which is free and you can find interactive experiences and also see the original torch. We spent about two hours here and now it's time to head back. Up next, we're going to walk the High Line and grab a bite at Chelsea Market. The High Line is a public park built on historic railway, elevated above the streets on Manhattan's west side. It was opened in 2009 as a hybrid public space where visitors can experience nature, art, and design. Right next to the High Line, you can go explore Chelsea Market, which is a food court and shopping mall. Here we are getting some tacos from Los Tacos Numero Uno, which is our favorite taco spot in New York. And for dessert, we got some delicious egg custards. And to wrap it up here, we are walking through some of the pop-up shops inside Chelsea Market. Next on our list is to catch a Broadway show. This time around, we decided to watch MJ the Musical. Make sure to arrive 20 to 30 minutes early as there's a line to enter the show. Here's a sneak peek of the end of the show. And you cannot miss the iconic Times Square. Here we are walking at 10 p.m. through Times Square. As you can see, there are so many people. It is so lively. And there are a lot of street performers providing live entertainment. All right, we're halfway there. Up next, you need to experience the 9-11 Memorial. This is a space that's dedicated to those lost in the 2001 attacks. You can walk among the inscribed names and witness the cascading waterfalls, which are a powerful symbol of both loss and hope. Number six on the list is to walk the Brooklyn Bridge. Be sure to take some comfortable shoes as you will be doing lots of walking. It took us 40 minutes to walk the entire bridge because we stopped for pictures and videos, but it should take about 20 minutes approximately as it is 1.3 miles to cross the entire bridge. Our next activity is taking a biking tour in Central Park. There are several options to explore Central Park. You can do a tour, which we did, and it is $50 per person, or you can rent a bike and explore the park yourself. Anytime we find ourselves in New York, we always prioritize biking in Central Park because it is so much fun and there is so much to see. Up next is the Summit 1 Vanderbilt Experience. This is one of our favorite observation decks in the city. It costs $43 per person and we spent about two hours here. Uh, this is one of the experiences, a room full of mirrors, great for taking pictures and seeing a view of New York like no other. 
We also recommend you bring some sunglasses as the reflection of the sun can hurt your eyes. But no worries if you forget, there are also sunglasses provided to you at the beginning of the experience. Our favorite part about the experience was the second room, which I believe is called Air Affinity. It's a room that is filled with many silver balloons, which make it such a great place to take pictures and have fun with your family and friends while enjoying the beautiful view. We are almost done. Ninth on our list is to explore Hudson Yards. The first stop to make is to go see the vessel. Currently, the vessel is not open to the public, but you can still take pictures and videos from outside. After the vessel, you can take an elevator and check out the Edge Observation Deck, which is 100 stories high. The general admission is only $36 per person, and it gives you access to 360 degree view of the New York skyline. This is a great place for taking pictures and videos and enjoying the beautiful view. My favorite part about the edge is that there's a see-through glass that allows you to walk through it and see how high you are while looking down at the street. Be careful, but make sure to enjoy the view and take some pictures with your friends and family to let them know that you are flying up there in the skies. If you made it this far and have enjoyed our recommendations, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video with others. We would also love to hear from you. Let us know in the comments what was your favorite experience or if there are any that we missed on this list. And saving the best for last and our favorite experience is taking a sunset cruise in New York. There are several options available. We selected the Circle Line Cruise Harbor Lights, which was $54 per person. It lasted two hours long and it provided us with amazing views of New York. After walking all day, Sitting on this cruise for two hours was incredible for us. We not only got to rest, but got to enjoy incredible views of the Brooklyn Bridge, the Statue of Liberty, the skyline, and it was just an unforgettable experience. We highly, highly recommend it. And here are some views at sunset. We hope you enjoyed this video and found this information helpful in helping you plan your trip to New York. We hope you have so much fun in New York and happy, happy travels! travels.